Hello, Aquarius. Who is this person, guys, that is so deep off in your energy? Let's check this shit out. Who is this person? Who is this person? Okay. Ace of Cups. Somebody that loves you. This person has a deep emotional connection to you guys here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is strong. This person loves you. They love your dirty drawers, as the saying goes, okay? Four of Wands, Aries energy here. Could be a Scorpio, Aries type of energy. Um, could be somebody that you guys are currently with. Um, why they would be here watching a video instead of like all snuggled up with you guys I don't know but this is somebody that definitely um, they feel happy in your presence they feel like they want to be with you they want to live with you they want to marry you um, I don't know if it's being reciprocated though because this is the ace of cups this person has all of these strong emotions and feelings for you guys. I'm not sure how you guys really feel here, but this is them, okay? This could also be somebody that is married and may not be married to you. This person could have been somebody that you were with, but they were already married. Um... And maybe you had a question about how they really felt because they were already attached. But I'm here to tell you they love you. Okay, whatever the scenario is for you guys. Okay. Then we have a Ten of Swords here. There's a level of betrayal that this person feels like went on between the two of you. Either they feel like they betrayed you or you guys betrayed them. There's a feeling of being stabbed in the back, feeling hurt, and, and wanting to start over with a clean slate. <clears throat> Gemini energy. Ten of Pentacles. Wanting to start over with a clean slate. This person, I feel, wants a commitment from you guys here. This could also be a situation if you guys are not with this person, if you're not dealing with this person at all, there was a breakup here between in your marriage or your relationship that was once happy and stable. This person is wanting to do this shit again with you. Okay? They're wanting to do this again with you. I'm feeling like if this person was married or in a relationship, they have since um, broken that off. I don't feel like they're connected. At this point to anyone I feel like there's been a divide there's been a separation of some sort um, if this person was with someone else okay Virgo energy there I feel Gemini is definitely here Gemini Aries Scorpio could be any sign really because we have five we have all the elements here right now which is a good, it's a good mix here. Because if things went awry between the two of you, if things were off balance, I feel like this person has been working on themselves, okay? Six of Wands, Leo energy. They really want your attention. They really want you to um, recognize their efforts. Maybe this person has told you that they're no longer with the other somebody and maybe you guys didn't believe them but if that's the case i feel like there is a disconnect between them and someone else here and i'm not I'm, i don't think it's you okay i don't think it's you i think you know this ten of swords energy definitely could have been a separation between you two for extenuating circumstances like them having another relationship or something like that but i feel like this person their energy is so much with you um that i don't think their energy is with someone else like this okay because they want they want your attention here they definitely want your attention, I feel. <clears throat> then we have the Ten of Cups. Mm. 
They want your attention. They want to be with you. I feel like you, you guys have this person's heart, whether you know it or not. You are what brings them joy. Piscean energy here. I feel like Aries Pisces is here. Gemini is here. Leo, Cancer, Scorpio currently. And then we have the Page of Swords. I feel like this person has not spoken any of this to you. I'm not sure if you guys have had a conversation, but you know, pages are not a very mature energy. They are not that they're immature. Let me let me say this. Pages this page of swords is not just having full full on conversations with you about what they really feel. They're more in an observing state, um, a, a realization of sorts of what they want to do, what you mean to them, and how to go about things. They're really trying to think of how they can uh, make something right. I feel like this person wants to um, they want to tell you that they want to be with you that you know you are where they they find happiness and, and total fulfillment with you are the person that they find that with so so if this person chose someone else over you or you feel like that i feel like they've come they've come full circle and they're back at your door Then we have a tower. See there? We have a tower. We have a breakup of a home, a commitment here. And if you can see, the Page of Swords is turning back, like turning away from this breakup and turning back to what actually makes them happy. And that is you guys. That is you guys. But they want you to recognize that you know they're here but I don't know if you've actually had a conversation with them like I said because like I don't feel like they've had this full-on conversation with you guys here you have three tens actually you've got no you have four because you have the six of wands with the four of wands which is a ten of wands here this is weighing on them this whole situation has been weighing on them. And then you have the Ten of Cups here. Then you have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So you have all of the elements here. This situation, honestly, I'm getting chills with this shit right here. This person, even though this was not the ideal situation for you, if they involved you in a three-party relationship, I feel like this person is someone very special to you. The situation probably was fucked up. Not gonna lie. But I feel like um, this person's made some changes. They've made some major changes here. And they want to tell you this. Maybe you guys have cut this person out of your life. Hmm. Let's see. What do they really want with Aquarius? What does this person really want with Aquarius? Queen of Wands, they want to be there for you. They want to be there for you. You have a strong fire energy here. I'm feeling strong Aries here. Um, could be a mother figure. Could actually be a mother. Somebody that um, very has a lot of responsibilities. And they like to take care of the people that they hold near and dear. Attractive person. Active person. Then we have the devil here. Somebody, I don't know, this person probably also um, is, is, they can be explosive in their, their temper. Like they can get angry very quickly. They can say some hurtful shit. They can fuck with you mentally. Hmm. And the Seven of Pentacles waiting 
investing. I feel like this person didn't want to leave the other situation before because they had a lot of time invested in a situation. They had a lot of time invested in a situation. I feel like they can also be um, kind of like <laughs> mentally manipulative. Um, again, say hurtful things when they're angered. They're easily angered as well. It doesn't take much to set them off. This fiery energy here. I do feel like you guys, they care for you very deeply. And I think you question whether or not this person is for you. But there's something that draws you to them. Because even though they're explosive, there's something very sexy about them, something very alluring about them. And it's like this, this mug is crazy, um, but yet I'm still so very attracted and drawn to them. That's this person here. I feel like this person wants to um, tie you down. And I'm saying tie you down because I'm thinking they they are so concentrating on you. Their energy is all around you guys. Um, very sexually attracted to you. And I feel like you to them. Then we have temperance over here. Mm. Now this... This kind of changes things a little bit because I feel like they work hard to temper their anger. This person is really trying to make a change for you and for themselves here because they know themselves and how they can be. And so they really try to find the balance in their personality so they won't be so explosive but they always have that um, that potential is the thing they always have that potential but this person definitely wants to work things out with you and they want you to recognize that they want to work things out with you we have Sagittarius energy here now we have Aries Leo Sagittarius energy Capricorn is here Taurus Virgo um, I feel Pisces Scorpio Gemini energy as well guys so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye